Hi, this is Amy at the Virtual Planetarium at Raritan Valley Community College. Let's take a look at some of the things we can see in the sky for the week of July 26th. The moon is at first quarter on July 27th, is full on August 3rd, and is at last quarter on August 11th. The full moon of August is called the Sturgeon Moon, named after North America's largest fish the Lake Sturgeon. Other names for this full moon include Grain Moon, Green Corn Moon, Fruit Moon, and Barley Moon. The first quarter moon in, on July 27th rises around 1.45 p.m. and sets around 12.30 a.m. the following day. That means it is up all afternoon, and just after sunset, it's highest in the sky. Quarter moons are great to look through, uh, look at through binoculars or a telescope because sunlight is striking the surface at an angle, and we're able to see lots of shadows, providing contrast on craters and mountains. Back in our sky, if we look high overhead, we can see the summer triangle continues to dominate our nighttime sky. It's made with three stars, Deneb, Vega, and Altair. On the southern horizon are two other constellations, Scorpius the Scorpion and Sagittarius the archer. And Sagittarius looks more like a teapot if you play connect the dots. Scorpius looks something like a letter J or a letter S if you are using your imagination. There are lots of clusters and nebulas, star clusters and nebulas in this part of the sky because we're looking along the plane of our galaxy towards the heart of the Milky Way. Off the stinger tail of the scorpion are two open star clusters, Ptolemy's cluster and the butterfly cluster. Both of them are great to look at through binoculars. They are also called M6 and M7. They were on a list created by Charles Messier of about a hundred deep sky objects. These clusters that we're looking at now are best viewed from a dark sky location and they're stunning through binoculars. The butterfly cluster is up here. Both the, both the butterfly cluster and Ptolemy's cluster appear close together on the dome of the sky but they're actually very far apart in space. The butterfly cluster is thought to be about 1600 light years away, while Ptolemy's cluster is over 980 light years from Earth. The clusters are not related to each other, but just appear near each other along our line of sight. Each cluster was born from its own interstellar cloud of gas and dust. The hundreds of stars in each cluster are sibling stars, gravitationally bound to one another and traveling together through space. The Mars 2020 mission is scheduled to launch on July 30th. It will land on Mars in February 2021. Its mission is planned to last at least one Mars year, about 687 Earth days. Perseverance rover is designed to better understand the geology of Mars and seek signs of ancient life. The mission will collect and store a set of rock and soil samples that could be returned to Earth in the future. It will also test new technology to benefit future robotic and human exploration of Mars. 
Perseverance is about the size of a small car. Traveling with the rover is a new piece of technology, Ingenuity Helicopter. The atmosphere of Mars is less than 1% of Earth's, so it's harder to generate lift. The rotor is spinning between 2,000 and 3,000 rotations per second. It has autonomous control. Mission control on Earth will give some directions, but then the helicopter will need to make some decisions on its own. There will be up to five flights of incremental difficulty. First, get the legs off the ground and go up three meters. Then, go 50 to 70 meters and come back. Scientists and engineers will get back engineering telemetry. Pictures are secondary, but always cool. The team has tested as much as they could here on Earth in a simulated atmosphere, but the real test will be on Mars. It's high risk, but exciting. Everything we learn here will help future rotor craft missions to Mars and elsewhere in our solar system. When we can see Mars in our night sky, it rises around midnight. Well, that's our sky for this week. Thanks for joining me in our virtual planetarium. Please subscribe and like our video. We look forward to seeing you in our real planetarium in the future. Until then, keep looking up.